So the problem with the Bible is when you start compartmentalizing it. Right. And leave out of the scripture. Right. <laughs> now let me read Isaiah 4 to you. I've read to you one part of it. Right. But let's read the whole chapter. Right. It says, And seven women shall take hold of one man in that day, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Now, in the Old Testament, for a woman, barrenness or not having a child was the reproach she's talking about here. Mm -hmm. Let's keep reading, though. In that day shall the growth of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. And the fruit of the land excellent and comely. For then or for them that are escaped of Israel. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Mm -hmm. Even every one that is written unto life in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion. Right. And shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the mist thereof mm -hmm. by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of destruction. Right. And the Lord will create over the whole inhabitation of Mount Zion mm -hmm. and over her assemblies a cloud and a smoke by day mm -hmm. and a shining of a flame of fire by night mm -hmm. for over all the glory shall be a canopy and there shall be a Pavilion for a shadow in the daytime. Right. For the heat from the heat. Mm -hmm. And for a refuge and for a covert. I'm, I think that's covert, C-O-V-E-R-T, from storms uh, and from rain. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we know John and Revelation mentioned seven churches in Asia. Mm -hmm. And again, the menorah, mm -hmm. the seven candlestick menorah and Jesus is standing in the middle or the first menorah mm -hmm. of the menorah right, right, if you know what I mean a candlestick that has seven branches right Jesus is in the middle branch right of the menorah of the menorah <laughs> where three are on one side and three are on the other do you understand <laughs> yes yes so he's in the middle of the menorah. Mm -hmm. And the three branches with seven total are on each side of the menorah. Mm -hmm. Jesus being in the center of the menorah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now he is clothed with a white garment to the foot. Right. Meaning from head almost to toe. Right. Meaning from here on down he's clothed in white. Right. His head, head and hair are white as wool. 
your head being white as wool mm -hmm. and your body as brass has nothing to do with skin tone. <laughs> Whatever's going on. Whatever's <laughs> going on. Right, right. <laughs> and that's kind of the point, right? <laughs> Only those around him at the time know what Jesus actually looked like. And they're called the 12 or the 70 or the 120 believers, both men and women, sons and daughters of Adam and Eve, right. who fell 4,000 years before Jesus came or so. Or so. He came in the fourth day of the second week after the Lord again replenished the earth. Right? Now, replenish is the same as what he did after the flood. Right? So were there two floods? I asked you that before. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe. See, we only live the shorter lifespan after the flood. Before the flood, it's rumored they could live 8,000 years or so, right? Or six, or something like that. <laughs> At least the fallen angels, maybe. Right. And the flood was sent to wipe them out. Right. Because they were also human beings, but sin was Satan too. Right. Who is the first cherub, I know, or cherub, however you want to say it, G-rub, G-rub, <laughs> to sin, right, right, mm -hmm. that's our problem. Mm -hmm.